Underwood. Thin Ice! <laughs> To smoke some weed and shut up. My God. Oh, I thought for sure. There it is. Boom! Yes! You know, you can't ask for much more than uh, than a chance to play for a championship, folks. You, you, right. you really can't. Uh, Illinois gets it done in the Big Ten semifinals over Nebraska, 98-97 after being down 11 at the half. Uh, just a ridiculous basketball game. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, obviously, uh, Dane Danger naturally plays six minutes in this game. By the way, so whoops, yeah, I picked the those. wrong game. Picked the yeah. wrong game. Uh, Nebraska's got size for sure, uh, mm-hmm. but the the overall theme of this game is this season's team has the ability to pull themselves out of holes. I don't think last season's team did. Uh, yeah. However. I prefer not to not have to. to do that. Yeah. yeah. That'd can be we a, just get a, this a preference? Can we get this second half team like just the rest of the year? Um that is, I 57 in the second half. 58. 58. It's insane. So and they only allow 36 in the second half. That's big time. Uh yeah. defensively yeah. they stepped up. Uh it was a weird, like it's 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 actually insane that Rink Mass played 22 minutes in this game. Yeah, foul trouble uh hurt him, but yeah, similar to the him, battle thing yesterday. For the for the auto bench with two fouls with how he was yeah. going to start was that's crazy. Uh, that's trusting your depth. I mean, there they have a bunch of guys that can play, but tough to plus mask just couldn't he was he had no rhythm when he came back. He couldn't buy one, finished five for fifteen from the field. Yeah. And I like and I think the difference between this this year's team and last year's team is Illinois always disappointed in the second half. This this time they seem to be going the other way. Brad called a great timeout after they missed two wide open threes. Nebraska went on a little run, called the timeout. I'm guessing that you know said, "What are we doing, boys? We want to play or not?" And you could you could kind of see the defense switched in that moment. Nebraska started missing shots, but Terrence Shannon was just unreal today. All American stuff, defensively, offensively, unbelievable. And he also erases the – do you know – did you see on Twitter who had the Illini Big Ten tournament scoring record of 31 before Shannon today? I did not know. You're going to love it. Uh, he's muscular, war number two, uh, you know, played like for the team five years ago, you know, your boy. Kipper Nichols? No Kipper kidding. Nichols had 31 against <laughs> Iowa in the Big Ten tournament. No yeah. way. Yeah. Wow. Thank God Shannon erased that. Now 40. I don't yeah. think 40 is going to get beat. Also, the uh, the Big Ten tournament. Yeah, the Big Ten tournament record overall. That was Michael Thomas, Northwestern. Okay. Uh, way, to, way to listen, Jeffrey. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, he was – yeah, he was great. Shoots 50% from the field. Five for nine from mm-hmm. three. Oh. They started to make threes again. Uh, 13 threes in this game after a really rough start from deep Hawkins was just chucking them, which I'm fine with Hawkins. We complain that he doesn't shoot him. He goes one for seven, whatever. Fine. The one he he hit was huge though. Yeah. He needs to find it. Uh, goody, goody who looked awful early figures it out. Goes four for nine from three. He makes four threes. I thought Quincy, (laughs) you know, I don't like Quincy going to the free throw line at all, but somebody has got to penetrate the rim and they started doing that in the second half. They weren't doing it at all. I think they took what? 24 threes in the first half. Yeah. Yeah. So, I uh, mean, well, they figured they? it out. Four for 24 or something? They finished uh, 13 for 35, and I think they went like eight for 11 in the second half or something. So that would be yeah. five for 24. Um, but, I, I, I mean, I don't think any of us really wanted – like, I don't think any of us sought out them winning the Big Ten tournament, but I think we got to be – you know, happy that they have a chance. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not buying into the oh, if they win the big tournament, they're doomed in the tournament. You got to figure things out in these games. I agree, and and that's the thing is we didn't want them to lose yesterday because of how bad they were. You don't want to go in the tournament like that. First half terrible defense was abysmal. Wouldn't fight through a screen. Nebraska got anything they wanted, and then second half. I mean, that's the team that we want to carry into the the tournament. I'm, Ty- I'm worried about fatigue right now. For tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. but I think they'll be all right by the next time they play. Well, Wisconsin's played an extra game, and they obviously had to exert themselves a lot in these last yeah. two. Absolutely. Um, you know, they'd be really bad if Maryland actually gave them a game, which they didn't. Uh, 
But no, I, I think you got to figure things out. Ty just gets put in a blender with some of these screens. It's tough. Um, I also thought that it was interesting that like, how many times in Nebraska get away with travels? Like uh, Alec <laughs> and Mast and Tominaga. Tominaga least... literally did a three sixty oh, from it, the three ridiculous. point line. Oh yeah, that was crazy. And can we get a goaltending call just once? Just I don't care if it's not a goaltending. Just blow the whistle one time. Shannon has forty two if they don't miss that goaltend. That's true. That's true. And Damas got it going. Five for 11 in the field, two for five from three, made all four of his free throws, seven rebounds, eight assists. I think we'll take a 16, seven, and eight from Damask uh, all day. They only turned over nine times. The offense ended up, despite the bad first half, which wasn't that bad, but it was bad. It wasn't as bad as yesterday. They scored, what, 31 the first half yesterday and then yeah. 40 the first half today. 40. Uh, but the offense overall, the numbers looked pretty good. I mean, 46, 37, 81 on the splits. Uh, they made 13 threes. Uh, they only turned over nine times. 42 rebounds, 14 on the offensive glass. Uh, you know, you saw guys get after it. Rodgers had 13 boards. Hawkins had seven. Damask had seven. Uh, Goody had six. I thought Goody did his job. Yeah, Ended up got really- some really good big boards. Yeah. Definitely got some big boards. So, I mean, you got to appreciate the fact they fought back and then win the game by 11 somehow, which I'm stunned that they won this game by 11. And it could have been 20 <laughs> if they didn't give up some uh, buckets down the stretch. So Shannon had that. Shannon should just let that go that and one that he fouled on yeah yeah i uh, are you and i don't know how you feel about this but ty rogers i know he gets a bucket for you but then you go back to him back to back times down the court i i i get it with brad underwood but just change it once i i, I don't want to complain about a win but it's just little things like that brad and it, it was more the players i guess but Brad looked bad against Hoiberg in the first half. Hoiberg was running sets. He was doing things to get his guys shots. It disappeared in the second half with great defense. I think Quincy was huge again defensively in this game. Um, Justin Harmon did absolutely nothing again. Um, turns the ball over late game. And do you think, fouled. Did you tweet that he got fouled? Yeah, yeah he I got fouled. Mean, but... He got hacked. Okay. I'm the one who steps up and wants a foul card. That's still your job. That was a foul. Big time. And that <laughs> yeah. Juwan Gary call, that would have been another, that would have been a Shannon turnover if Gary didn't get called for that foul. That call sucked. Yeah. That probably shouldn't have been a foul. But oh, we're a line fans. We just defend everything. <laughs> yeah. No, that was not a foul on Gary. That was I BS. Guess. And him going out with four was, was huge because he makes a big impact, especially on the defensive end. And he still played 28 minutes. So, I mean, Nebraska had one guy play over 30 minutes, and that's Bryce Williams, who probably wasn't aggressive enough offensively and still ended up with 23. But yeah, uh, they hold Tominaga to two for nine from three. Turns out when you just throw Shannon on him and and you frustrate him, make him move around, he's not going to – I mean, he has – he makes one three if they don't lose him in, trans, in transition, I think. Right, yeah. And I, and I think that most of those points were when Shannon wasn't on him. Uh, they did a lot of switching in the second half, which they could do. Um, guy stepped up. Coleman was on Tominaga quite a bit, it seemed like. Yeah. But uh, he got he, he kind of got Tominaga sped up. I mean, he got 18 points, but he made him work for it. So, by the I'm way, that. defense first half, though, abysmal. Yeah, Nebraska first Special. half, 57, 37, 78 splits. And uh, second half, 36, 18, 66. Yeah, so Illinois and Nebraska switch shooting percentages. I believe Illinois was 59 54 78. So a little better from three in the second half. Illinois six for 11. So because because they shot the same thing from the field in Iowa or Nebraska shot 58% in the first half. So they had to switch shooting. Uh, can I also a little round of applause for uh, Brad Underwood? Uh, this season is officially the most wins he's had in a season in Illinois, 25, 25 and eight. They went 24 and seven, the one seed year they didn't play that many non-conference games because of COVID. So 25 wins. Illinois hasn't had a 25 win season, uh, in quite some time. The last time, hold on, I'm finding it was the 2006 team. Oh, five, Oh six. They went 26 and seven. They had three years in a row. Weber's first three years were 26 plus. Um, and then self obviously had, uh, had 25, 26, 27 in his three years. They had like a a long stretch of doing it. Uh, so yeah, 
They had six years in a row of doing it, and then they hadn't done it since now. So 20, 25 wins. Good stuff. We'll get to the comments a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to find the efficiency numbers updating here. It looked like it, the defense was going to go way down. I don't think it'll go down too much. Uh, Bracket Dom had us at a four seed before this game. I assume that he'll move us up after this. I know everybody's going off Lenardi and Palm and yeah, which blah, is a blah, mistake. Blah, so. I just found it interesting that Lenardi had him like firmly in as a three, like having them at 11. That was, that was surprising. Yeah. It is Lenardi also goes to sleep at like 10 30. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, it's literally the best. Time I mean, you- if Lenardi's gonna go to bed oh. that early, he shouldn't tweet that he he just he shouldn't tweet that he's going to bed that early if he's gonna go to bed that All early. Right. It's that simple. That's why it's especially officially, officially March. I got my I got my three TV set up. So there you go. Uh I have three as well. Yeah, you always have them though. I gotta carry them. I need a man cave. I got another uh, TV there that I'm wonder if my dad will build me a man cave in my house. Well, this is originally his setup, and I just took it. <laughs> I just stole it from him. Nice. He doesn't really watch sports, so it's fair. That's true. That's true. Um, I also wanted to say, uh, uh, hold on. I'm trying to speak. I had something to say. Uh, uh, by the way, I can, to the yeah, can I just say I, I was that. I was tipped off about seven hours that that was happening today. And I didn't report it. I'm just saying. Six Where are you? That's because you're a hockey guy. Yeah, I don't break I don't break football trades, but right. I heard I heard something earlier about it. So good for um, you. Yeah, I, I could have reported it, but I, I held back. Uh, anyway, well, I was gonna make a cool point about this team. It was gonna be sick. <laughs> um, I'm sure it was. Yeah, they, they should are out of control right now. I don't think tomorrow's game is going to matter in terms of seeding. Uh, I mean, the Big Ten tournament is right yeah. before the or the Big Ten championship is right before the selection show. I can't think that losing to Wisconsin is going to make a difference um, in a three or a four seed. So that's where I'm at on it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just I need to get off Twitter. Uh, yeah, so. You haven't dropped an F-bomb yet. No need to. I feel good. Unless I when I was away. Good thing that Nebraska fans didn't go to Twitter. Way to hold on to Fields to get a conditional fourth-round pick. The fuck is that? I mean, that's <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> that didn't, didn't, d- no. I mean, the, 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 the Falcons got a an actual useful player for Ritter who is just as bad as Fields, if not worse. But anyway, um, NFL trades never make sense. I mean – Keenan Allen for a fourth it actually does make sense, but that's just me. More for the Bears, obviously. If you're the Bears, you take that deal any day of the week. Uh, so, you know, whatever. Uh, All right. Uh, on, on to the chat. Here we go. Uh, Sean said, I was scared when we were down 13. Turn the game back on. It was 68-68. Why did our Illinois Buckeye, fans just give up on games? Are Buckeye fans still crying? You know what's funny about that is that there's been two instances of a team having way more free throws and losing. <laughs> since that yeah since that arizona and purdue yeah uh by the way the purdue wisconsin game i mean jesus that was a that was a decisive one in terms of or divisive divisive yeah. is the word a lot of online intercourse intercourse <laughs> a lot of <laughs> online discourse uh non-sexual sorry um yeah I, my a lot of thoughts going on okay <laughs> shut up for a second okay so uh uh, my thought on Purdue, Wisconsin. I I like Sean Paul, not the not the artist, the college basketball guy. We had him on the show a few years ago. Yeah, but he needs to hold off on some of these Purdue tweets. Like you want to talk about getting sexual? Him and Edie, I don't know the way he talks about him. A little <laughs> interesting, uh, but no. But it's just like questioning why people hate Edie. I don't think Big Ten fans hate Edie. I think they don't like watching him play, and they dislike the way that he gets the way officiated. He gets officiated, yeah. But the problem is, I think both sides have arguments at different times. Like, I think there's a case for Purdue fans to be like, he's getting hammered here, call something. And there's a case for this side. It's like Tyler Wall just gets run over and yeah. they, they foul him out on that. Like, that, should be a, that. that should be a play on it. That's so the, much at least. this year. Yeah. And it's been, it's literally been play on. And so then he's for just, them to call he's, that, that's he's crazy. like hovering over guys and like trying to tough. Yeah, like, dude, you're seven, four. Congrats. Like if you were six, four, you'd get your ass beat by half of these players, but uh, that's not, you know, it's unfortunately not fact. Um, 
so I just found it interesting that he does that and doesn't get techs, you know, no technical fouls on either one of those. He did it both days. He did it to Klesman today for no reason at all. And he did it to Holloman yes, uh, yesterday. Or, yeah. Is that yesterday? Jesus, this is, these are long days. <laughs> A lot of basketball. Long days of working hard watching college basketball. Yeah. Uh, Hinkle says, did you click at the same time? Go ahead. Go ahead. I cannot, cannot understand how fortunate we are for the Shannon experience. As impactful as Io and Kofi during their final years. Yeah. It, Shannon was unbelievable today. Uh, and the fact that he was a transfer game stepped up. I don't know what that says. Uh, I feel like we would come back because can you pick these out for me while I'm reading them? Thanks. Appreciate you. No, I don't want to read them all. You know, I will though. Half of these don't matter. Haven't been beat by double digits. Yeah, but I can't read quick enough for it to matter. 3 p.m. tomorrow? I don't know. What time do we play tomorrow? 2.30, I thought. 3.30. The selection show is supposed to be at 5 central, isn't it? Defense was nice in the second half. 2.30. 2.30. Wish we played Purdue. Might be able to sneak into a two seed. I don't know. You think we're a lock for a three seed now? Mm, uh, a win over Wisconsin probably the needle. Uh, Goody was huge think... today. Big rebounds, big shots. Yeah, Goody rebounding was pretty good. I think he played good defense today too. Goody sometimes gets lost. So I'm not sure the committee is going to take anything away from the Illinois Wisconsin game. Yeah. There's no time. I agree. They have 15 minutes. I agree. It doesn't matter. That's I. I think even if it was Purdue, I don't think it would matter unless they uh, are by the way slated both ways. Uh, score update, UConn is down 2-0 to uh, Marquette in the first five minutes and 19 seconds. They have zero points. What the that. hell is going on? Uh, but Marquette's going to be a two, so that's, you know, it's a two right there. Um, Michael Thomas, you already read that. No Dane game today. You no. said that six minutes. He, uh, he kind of got cooked by Mass, but so did Coleman, and then they just didn't go back to him. Uh, Illinois had a really hard time getting in the lane in the first half. And then they started knocking down some threes, made guys commit. That's what happens. Goody's two threes at the end of the first half kept this game from being a 15 to 20 point margin. Yeah. And then he did the head fake into a three that just wasn't even close. And then he took that tough one at the end of the half. I really thought Toman was going to break away. Uh, Hayden says Hawkins is looking pouty. Why is it when Scotty Pippen complains on the bench and yells at his coaches, he's viewed as a fucking hero, and then Hawkins does it and it's viewed as pouty? Yeah, is it I because mean, he's supposed to be a leader, right? Yeah, so I was trying to go for the uh, the Michael Scott Chris no. Rock quote. I don't know what you're doing, but it would have been maybe I I didn't finish it for a reason. So if you know, you know. Uh, Shannon was obviously used to look at it. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, offense finally comfortable. Yeah. I got back to the five out. That was working. Uh, Illinois, seven for 26 on threes at one point, which means they would have finished six for nine. Underwood timeout down 15. Effort change. Switching on defense helped as well. Matchup base. Wisconsin looked drained after the game today. I think both teams are going to be drained. Maybe Wisconsin a bit more than Illinois, especially with Wisconsin. The big thing for Wisconsin that hasn't been taken into consideration by some probably yet is that Wall and Hepburn were both questionable going into that game today. So who knows how they're going to respond, especially this being their fourth game in four days. I'll be curious to see what they look like tomorrow, but uh, both teams are probably going to be pretty gassed. Quincy's like, a lot. Like, hit the sub. You're not subbed to us. We're 12 away, I think, from 500. Quincy's a lock for at least one drive and miss poster dunk a game. And then air, one for two from the free throw line. Airballed one yesterday was just yeah. just short today. So, yeah. It's amazing. I, I mean, he is literally Mr. 50%. He is one for two every time he steps to the line. He's got, like, he's got so much arch on it, too. Uh, What are we doing? I don't know. Pick another comment. I guess. When we beat Bucky, we are a three seed and sniffing the two line. I don't know if we're gonna get. I don't think we. No, have to get to the I don't two think line. it's gonna matter. 
If we win tomorrow, you think we get a three? I think they might be locked for a three now. We're better when Shannon isn't playing. Um, yeah. Do you remember when people were saying that at one point? Like, oh, this team's not as good with Shannon because the other guys aren't confident enough or something. Some, there was some stupid uh, conversation. Yeah, a great window of championship games. That's what I, I, I wanted this to be 20 minutes, but here we are. What else you guys got for us? You got anything? I'm done. Who likes Scotty Pippen? Not Michael Jordan. Awesome window championship game. You already did that. Jesus. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm seeing if you missed anything. Good. I mean, there was probably stuff up top, so I didn't really scroll up. How long has Hoiberg been at Nebraska? Eight years. He got hired when Brad got hired. Right? Nope. Not even close. <laughs> okay. Five years. So, five? He was with the Bulls like seven years ago. I thought him and no Brad got hired. The same Brad time. was hired three years before him. Hoiberg, yeah, eight years ago. I knew that. Brad was 2017-18. Hoiberg was 2019-20. That's so right. Brad was, Oregon. Yeah. Did UAB end up winning today? Yeah. Yale? Did Yale win? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to dominate you in the conference picks. You're lucky that Princeton decided to lay a complete egg against a bad Brown team. That was pathetic. <laughs> that was pathetic. That's Full a shame, share. too, because Princeton's really good. You guys have any ideas on who we get first round? Iowa State. Avoid Moorhead State. Hoiberg, Hoiberg was at Iowa State. I don't think we can be afraid of any 14 seeds. That's That shouldn't be the mentality. Yeah. If we're afraid of 14 seeds, I think we should be more afraid of if like Florida gets a six seed, which after winning today, they should move up. Right. Yeah. Like I don't way, want the winner. The one I saw the way it was the winner of St. John's, whatever play in game in Florida. I don't want either of them. Put me on the top half of you of North Carolina. If we're going to do that. So, Morehead State, who's been playing well, uh, just for reference, I know this was the beginning of the season, but they lost to Alabama by 32, Purdue by 30, Penn State by 23. So I'm just saying that's something to uh, think about. They're they're a pretty solid squad, though, no doubt, no doubt. What are, you, what are your thoughts on uh, DGL being brought in to show defensive int intensity? Great. Okay. It's good stuff. I enjoyed it. I, I when he caught that ball in the corner, we all knew it was going up. How about Goody getting deflected or whatever off the side of the backboard? That was a hot start. <laughs> yeah. Heather's like, "What was that?" I'm like, "I hope it got tipped. I don't know if it did." But... Will we ever see Justin Harmon make a three in an Illini uniform again? Uh, yes. Running out of time. Yeah, he didn't take one today, right? No, he took one shot. It was a missed layup, I think. Sean, see you, man. Thanks for coming by. Hope they stay awake now since it took a game and a half to do it. Yeah, that's the hope. I, I mean, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But like I said, I think they're going to be gas, so they're going to look bad again. So I think we should be afraid if they show up to play or not. Hopefully, like, I hope that this first half got them ready. Like, tomorrow I could, like, if they win, yes, great. But I hope they carry what they did in the second half onto the tournament. Tomorrow, I, I think they're going to be wore out. So, I mean, Shannon was literally dead three times during the game today. But he was doing everything. And he was chasing around Tominaga. He's not going to have to do that against everybody. But Damask, Damask played the most minutes. Really? 39. Shannon played 34. Foul trouble had to sit for, for a few. Yeah. Brad brought him back in with asked, two, though, right? Yeah, but he asked to be taken out a few a couple times during the game. When you look on the flip side, Wisconsin's about to play their fourth game in four four days. Store played 40 today. Hepburn played 38. Klesmet, 34. Yeah. 
I don't know. Yeah, I think I think Wisconsin will be gas too. Uh, three seed solidified. I, I would think, but I don't know. Everybody says no shot. I don't know what they're talking about though. Um, that just showed Brad. Brad was getting desperate to play DGL. Bread, bread. Are we really going to play Akron? I mean, if the committee has taught us anything, it's they have they to like win matchups. Yeah, that's true. Justin is lost. I saw uh, our friends over at Arm Carolina. I said, I never want to see Harmon play in the last five minutes again. Are you on that boat? Absolutely not. Okay. I mean, you Somebody's need to throw make shooting, free throws. Right? Yeah. What the hell? It's him or Quincy. They did get the ball into Quincy. I cannot believe that Nebraska didn't foul Quincy when he when he caught the ball. Should have should have checked the scouting report. <laughs> They played an extra one and overtime. Yeah, Wisconsin. However, I mean their first, we'll their first, guess. their the Maryland game. Their starters were not playing. But their starters all played like twenty five minutes. Yeah, Chucky so. was out um, last game. Tyler Wall apparently it was questionable today. So yeah. getting a mask going might have been the biggest thing coming away from this game. Yep, got those two free throws. You know, kind of found it. Found it. As well as Hawkins and Gary seeing one go in and Goody seeing a few go in. Yep. Stepping all over my headphones here. <laughs> Eric C, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, are we doing a watch party tomorrow? <sighs> I'm on. I, I, I'm straight into the selection on Sunday. I got two arguments. Number one. Okay. We, we have sucked. Yes. Watch. Yes. And I kind of enjoy my setup right now. Uh, this you know, is just very true. being an absolute maniac. I yelled a lot today, but not as much as yesterday. And then on the other side, I'm like, how often was, do we have this opportunity? Exactly. It's the tough. last time. The last time I was in Vegas, so we couldn't do it. It's tough. It's a tough call. But they don't show up in big games when we do watch parties. Both Purdue games, swing and a miss. <laughs> Michigan State game on the road, swing and a miss. Tomanaga was crying after the game. Uh, squirrel squared circle squares might you know he's a he's a, he's a jokester by the way did anybody else get the hint members. of uh i'm not saying any i'm just posing the question did anybody else get the feeling of the uh subtle japanese jokes from uh from from the crew today i i kind of felt that there's a really? couple where i was like oh, i didn't are. i guess i wasn't paying that close of attention i don't know i'm just saying i thought i heard a couple a lot of international relations talk, like we were in the 40s and 30s again. I thought Jay Wright saying that Illinois has never guarded a team that you have to play against a stretch five when they are literally a team that has a stretch five was insane. I know the guy's a genius basketball coach, but come on. I don't think that translates to just because you have a stretch five doesn't mean that you practice against it. Yeah, but in, in game, I, I guess would be the <laughs> reference. Yeah. They only gave up 84 in Nebraska in overtime in the first game. I'm on and the Tomanaga had 40 points. I'm on the never play Harmon last three minutes of the game. He's not inbounding the ball, though. Yeah. Squares, circled squares, smoking a pack. Uh, if Iowa State wins this game, is there any chance they could get the last one seed? I guess it depends on what happens with North Carolina. No. According to the guy on TV today, he said there's three locks, which we all know who that no, is. No, they're all locks. And then there's four teams playing for the last spot. That's what he said. North know. Carolina is a one. Yeah, Ra oh, Raftery yeah. was the one doing. He's eighty years old, to be fair. But <laughs> wasn't no. like egregious, you know. It's just Tominaga and TSJ were talking, and Raft said TSJ can't understand him. Yeah, oh, that's, that, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I said the same thing to my wife. Oh, it sounds like you're racist I, too. What's that have to do? Like the guy can't speak English. Yes, he can't. He has to be able to. He learned English when he came over here to go to college. You can't speak of that well. So basically, it was baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was wild, and you could tell it made Eagle and Grant feel Grant. Hill I don't. Feel yeah, I got. I don't know if I got that sense there. I think yeah. Hinkle might be reaching here, <laughs> trying to take out a legend. Iowa State kicking it. What's the fun? Uh, yeah, Grant Hill also said that Illinois. 
Illinois can guard. The first thing he says, they can guard. Marquette. This Illinois team, they can score, they can guard. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure he also said this Illinois t- team's great on these inbound plays. Like they what the comment is literally one. Oh, did it? Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was looking at the score of the game six to seven, nine thirty left in the Marquette UConn game. Tracy Wolfson. Tracy Wolfson said Japanese Steph Curry because she said that that's what they call him, which I assume means Nebraska players or coaches yeah. or fans or something. Yeah, I did. Like she made that one up. Uh, what else is I gonna say? Hope they hope nobody took the anything, Jeffrey. Hope nobody took the over in Marquette UConn because that's dead, dead on arrival. <laughs> uh, very impressive that Marquette is in this spot with Kolick being out. Kolick out, yeah, and very smart to sit him too. You don't need him trying to play through an oblique in a conference tournament. So, which is why I think Purdue should feel lucky that they lost today. Yeah, I don't know why Braden Smith would even play in this game. Yeah, but because then if you lose, you have an excuse at least. Now you just exactly. look stupid. Yeah, boom, nailed it. All right. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know about tomorrow. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's, a, it's the hardest decision I've ever had to make. If you uh, hit the little bell, you'll, you'll get a notification if we go live, so you'll know. What are your um, thoughts on it? We're definitely doing uh, – I mean, this is my thoughts. I think we should watch the game together. Whether we live stream it or not, I don't care. Because we're going to do a selection Sunday show, right? Yeah. So that's let's, that's my uh, thoughts. Yeah, let's let's uh, two thirty. Are you not How able about, to watch the game? You got to work tomorrow. No, please. No. <laughs> um, let's yeah, well, let's during the second half. We could we could maybe do that or like the last okay. ten minutes. Either way, either way, I'll have the cameras rolling while we're watching the game. So, and then we'll go live. I, I think what we should do is we'll go live after the game for the selection show. Okay. And then you'll stay in the camera area over there and I'll put a camera in here. Cause I have my bracket here. So I'll have two cameras. So. Oh, we'll have a bracket cam. Yeah. Are I, you going to fill out my bracket? Are you gonna it's fill going to fill it? It's going live. Yeah. That's, that's what I do every year. Interesting. And All right. So you, everybody's going to see us tomorrow. So that's, that's what it comes down you to. Wait two minutes. Oregon or Colorado tonight? Uh, I'll be rooting for the Ducks. Um, it's a tough spot. Colorado's got the athletes. They're more talented. But I like the way Oregon's playing. Give me the Ducks. Close game. Ducks get it done. Warner, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. Watching from a volleyball tournament. I uh, hear Mount Pulaski won state. Congratulations to them. They're local. Not really. My brother coaches there. That doesn't make them local to here. Sure. It's less than an hour away. Yeah. So East St. Louis is local. Um, <laughs> East St. Louis like is local. State championships. Okay. Yeah, you don't get it. All right. Uh, that's going to do it for this. I mean, we'll be back tomorrow at some point for something. We're going to do something tomorrow. We'll definitely be live during the selection. Yeah, we'll be live. Um, we'll do something. Something's we'll, going to happen. We'll let you know. So uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, turn on the notifications, do all that stuff. Appreciate you all. Cheers, Illini. Bink, bonk. Let's go. All right. Goodbye.